This is the alleged Ghani Witches Camp. It is the only camp which houses both women and men accused of witchcraft. For them, they find peace at the camp. Even though the living conditions are not favorable, they feel safe and do not want to go back home. Nemo is the wife of an alleged wizard who received shelter at the camp together with his family until he passed on. She tells City News she has no interest in going back to her hometown as all their properties were destroyed when her husband was accused. <laughs> The recent lynching of 90-year-old Equiadente, who was accused of witchcraft at Kafaba, a community in the Salaga district of the Savannah region, received global condemnation. This generated government and public interest in some cultural practices that infringed on the human rights of citizens. As such, the Australian High Commissioner Gregory Andrews, as part of his familiarization tour of the northern region, made a stop at the Ngani Witches Camp to interact with the over 100 women and men who are housed here. It was an emotional moment for him. I'm deeply concerned about the mistreatment of elderly women as so-called witches. When I first arrived in Ghana, I was heartbroken when I learnt about 90-year-old women being beaten to death as so-called witches. The abuse of people as witches is inhumane and it's un -Ghanaian. That's why I'm here today. I want to understand firsthand and I want to show my love and compassion to these elderly women who remind me of my grandmother. The Australian government and the Ghanaian government are opposed to the abuse of so-called witches and so is the United Nations. Australia and Ghana are both members of the United Nations and as members of the United Nations we have a responsibility to protect people's human rights and abusing women and accusing them of being witches is an abuse of their human rights. He commended Action Aid Ghana, a non-governmental organization who have been providing support for the victims at the camp. From Ghani alleged witches camp, I am Daina Ngwan for City News.